it's Marvel Contest of Champions news time. Yes, it's not been a little while since I've done a, uh, a news, but there's a lot of things going on in the game which I need to cover. And one thing to really mention, in the next 24 hours you're probably not going to see much Marvel Contest of Champions content posted on my channel. And that's due to an embargo for a sponsored video coming up. So if you can give that video some support, that would be really nice, thanks. But we've got Marvel Contest of Champions news that we need to delve into. So to start with, a little bit disappointing to see we have mistakes that are delivered with bundles going into the game. There's been a miss kind of delivering of a crystal which players have kind of contacted me as well as Kabam themselves and said, hey, why have you put this incorrect crystal in with the bundle? Or this doesn't exactly work out with what, you, what you've what you stated. And there's a few other things that, that they've done with the bundles for the 4th of July, which we'll, you know, we'll cover in a moment. But it is disappointing to see that. However, though, Kabam have got an idea how to fix the situation. And by this post here, will make amends for this. So that's, that's good for them to identify their problems and make a solution to it. And hopefully people aren't that disappointed with what they got and it can all be you know nice and rosy going forward. I was going to briefly touch on the three day events and the stuff which I'm still going to plan to do however there is a message above this stating that the game isn't exactly perfect running 19.0 since the update there's been a few issues if you've known some of my live streams and how I think my Elgato has been working with my iPhone 7 Plus maybe an indication that there's some something amiss with the game and how it interacts with certain iPhones but we'll cover that in a moment the main thing to really say is the developer does know and says that they might have to put out a new patch in order to get these uh, these new updates really kind of syncing in correctly because currently it's it's not too great now the first great thing about peak milestones is there's a lot of them so there's 12 in total and they range in what you're going to get out of them and as you can see there's fantastic things on offer if you're able to hit all 12 milestones depending on your alliance and what your capabilities are you may find that you're not able to get all 12 obviously because there's an extensive amount of points grinded however as you reach top alliances and the intense grinds of the game you're going to be rewarded for your efforts as an alliance to get some fantastic things out of them granted there's going to be some people going that's not fantastic things yeah, but if you're a free grinder of the game, it might be seen as a really positive step. I mean, I think this is a positive step in any case to say that these three-day alliance events, which have been pretty mediocre with claiming of rewards, now they're going to be claiming better rewards. The rank rewards as well will see a little bit of an improvement. So that is, again, positive for that. But I think the milestones are going to be those things for resource collection that are going to make players a little bit more happier about grinding out in the game. And as we know, Summoner Advancement became a little bit stale. It's been improved, again, with Milestones, which, again, is fantastic for an event like that. Milestones for Summoner Advancement, yeah, aren't there. So having this in, absolutely delighted about this. And there's also an increase in certain elements of what you're taking home resource-wise. So each week, you're going to find that it's going to feel of value to uh, rank up those champions, to spend all those crystals and open them. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. It's also goodbye to Jewel Skirmish. Thank bloody God, because I can't stand that. It's one of the events I've worked quite well to make sure I spend all my Jewel points. And I'm like, oh, I can't bother with this. Last two times I think it's been on, I've just put in zero. I felt really guilty about it, but I just keep forgetting. There's also other events like class use. We've got something about alliance help, loyalty spend. It seems that the whole game is really changing in these these events. So they're, they're really shaking them up, which I think is positive. There's also mention of X-Men use, Avengers use, villain use, guard, Guardians use. Lots of different things that are going to make the game really interesting for players, engaging with different champions. And it'll make players kind of go, right, well, uh, should I use this champion? No, I'll use this champion because it's going to help towards this particular usage and be able to take home some decent stuff from it. So these new events will kick off on the 6th and then on the 8th for the 3 day and then we have got the Summoner Advancement on the 12th of July. So a little bit of time before these things go live but I think this is a positive step for players in what their resource grinding is, working as well together as an alliance because that's important. We need that emphasis on that, that kind of alliance coming together, group activity. We're focused on this. Guys, let's do this. Let's smash this event today. Yeah, I, I think this is a real positive move for Kabam. So you might be thinking to yourself, I'm having some problems with my phone. A lot of this has been reported as iPhone 7 problems. I myself have experienced problems with my iPhone 7 Plus, but there are people with iPhone 8 that have posted things on this article. Kabam Mike has said that he's investigating with the team any issues that might have come up as the result of the 19.0 update. 
One such issue is the game then deciding to then log out, go blank, and have the kind of loading screen. I had this in last night's stream. If anybody's watching the stream when we did the uh, the ghost event, the micro realm, you'll notice that uh, that that happened. I've had a few instances since the update that this has happened as well. And even with a shutdown, it seems it doesn't really respond quite well. Also, I've had issues where my blocks have been broken or the characters haven't been moving. They've just been standing still. And I've been like, what the hell is happening here? Either way, I'm not alone. People are experiencing a good amount of problems with this. And Kabam are trying to put a fix together. And like I said, you may have a new micro patch that's going to fix all these issues, hopefully by the end of this week. Next up, and we haven't seen or heard anything about compensation. We did a video on last month, Contest Champions News, and we focused on oh, the little bit that, you know, they, they said they are looking to it, it's early part in the week. We are now entering to the latter part of the week, and we still haven't heard anything concrete to let us know when an announcement's going to be made. I don't know by the point of this video coming out that the announcement has been made, but this is what we know so far. So Caban Mike has gone and looked at, as a team, all the elements that people had a limitation with the game being down for the significant amount of time that it was down. We really hope that he is focused on these different areas and compensates accordingly. Now, I know a lot of you will be saying to yourself, well, why can't the decision be made a lot quicker? And I don't know. I mean, they've got a lot of issues with uh, with phone stuff, some responsive things, the marvelous crystal thing. Uh, I hope that this hasn't gone by the wayside and it can be sorted out at least by the end of play today, as in Thursday. Next up, and we're back over to Marvel Insider. Not much is happening. I think it'll be the next 10 days that you'll see anything new coming in. Currently is the Domino thing and the little X-Force bundle. And it's been that for a, a long time. So hopefully we get something fairly shortly, but more than like the next 10 days, that will give us an indication of what the new rewards are for this month's quest. Next up, and we've journeyed into the game. And this is when we talk about the July the 4th offers. Now, as you can see, the great thing about them is it's limited to three. Disappointing size, people have had a, a good amount of criticism on the extent of what you get for the 99.99 deal. Obviously, prices vary in your country, so that will be a lot more higher, lower. Not sure how that works. People have commented specifically on the tier five basic catalyst fragments and the fact that people would have liked to have had one fully formed or they would have liked a big alteration to this. I myself haven't decided whether or not I'm going to purchase. For me it will be either a last minute decision or I won't purchase at all. I've said uh, quite a few times on my opinions on buying stuff in game. Largely and the biggest criticism I have is the extent of cost on things. When you look at, I understand the value and you know future development with the rosters, and there's a good chance at the later date if you choose to rank up a certain champion based on whatever you get. Then say, for example, that I get Archangel from my five star crystal. I then decide to rank five him uh, as a five star. I then decide that uh, yeah, I've used those resources on him, and he changes dramatically in the future. Then do I feel that that's a that's a good investment of a hundred pounds? Will I be able to get a rank down ticket to then change it? And the answer would be resoundingly no. No, I won't. So you have to make a decision uh, if you're going to get this as to what you're planning to do. Do I plan to develop my roster? Am I going to take a specific champion and take them in a certain direction? Do I think they're going to be buffed or nerfed in the future? Again, it's like you, you take a risk because what you're theoretically doing is you're creating a strong champion. Because that's what we theoretically do. We create a strong champion in which to defeat difficult content with. But either way, the point is still there. If you were in the market to buy units then you get this as an added extra that's really how you have to see this there will be people wailing out and getting this three times the most expensive one there's obviously you know cheaper ones if you choose to get the cheaper ones then you're still going to get something for that but essentially and like i said you can buy it's up to you and you're getting extra things with what you would have bought in the uh, in the interim and I have to make the decision fairly quickly because at the point of recording this video, I only have uh, 6 hours and 29 minutes to make that decision whether or not I'd go for the last one. It would be quite good, but I don't know if it would be something I necessarily need right now or that I couldn't grind out for if and, and when I decide to kind of complete more content. It could be a case that by doing this, by buying this now, I could have grinded this out for free in the space of two maybe three weeks but again 
sorry to ramble on. The choice is yours on the matter, whether or not you're in the market for units and want some added extras or not. And our final story is my news. I know, selfless promotion. You know, I, I thought I had to do this. Guys, check out this video. The link is in the description for an amazing five-star crystal opening. If you were part of this live stream, you'll know that it was absolutely insane what I picked out from it. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you haven't seen it, go and watch this because I get something incredible. And people will say, quite rightly so, because I've had terrible luck with five stars. So I deserve this luck. Um, and I hope and wish that my luck now goes and goes over to you lovely people watching this video right now because you deserve fantastic luck too. Oh, and there is an issue with sound just to let you know there is an issue with the microphone which uh, Tech problems and me. I think they go hand in hand. We literally jump in bed together Ah uh, but it's still a good video. So that's been Marvel Contest of Champions news. If you enjoyed the news today, hit that like button and subscribe for Marvel Contest of Champions based content. Make sure you watch that video of me opening those fantastic five stars because they're so darn good. But anyway, I've been Rich's Man. I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.